One of the most interesting women that I have researched is the woman we call the teacher from Cairo. I have to call her a teacher because I don't know her name. We learn about her from two responsa that were presented to the court in, in Cairo when Maimonides was the head of the court. And what we're talking about here is actually uh, a reflection of Cairo Geniza society with a tremendous amount of movement on the part of all the players, whether they be rich or poor. Here we have a couple that's married very young age, uh, whose mother was supposed to be supporting them, the groom's mother that is, and the groom does not have a job. He goes on a, tr a travel trip uh, off to we don't know where. He doesn't bother letting us know, but when he comes back he's extremely upset because he discovered basically that his wife is now teaching in a, in a Beit Midrash in a school for boys who are learning Torah and she's not coming home and doing what he thinks she should be doing. She's not cooking, she's not cleaning, she's not sleeping with him and he's very angry about this. So he goes to the court and he requests, and what does he request? That he be allowed to marry a second wife because the first one isn't doing what he wants her to do. Unfortunately for him, his marriage contract, his ketubah, has a clause in it that prevents him from taking a second wife without her permission. And Maimonides lets him know in no uncertain terms that he cannot do this because this is in the ketubah. In the meantime, Maimonides says, without being asked, you know, if you want to, however, you can stop her from teaching. You have that right as her husband to keep her at home. We don't know exactly what happened because we don't, it doesn't get followed up, but at some point, the wife also approaches the court and she has her own question. She wants to know how can it be that this man who does not provide any of the obligations that he has from the Torah, how can it be that he can be allowed to continue being married to her and not allow her to teach? Maimonides now sees a fuller picture after she describes a terrible lonely life she had with, with a husband who provided absolutely no, nothing for her. Um, I have published an article, which you're welcome to read, where I go in detail and, and, Anna, and translated these documents, and we see what I call, he said, she said, a woman who manages to survive uh, by saying something, she said, her piece to the court in Cairo.